What's up, yo? This is LB. So today we're gonna talk about again another class after the midsummer exam. This is going to be spontaneous, no edit, no. Uh, there's there's a lot of um and lots of fillers. So I I asked sa kung yung class sa tax forty two guys, please do understand this uh, recording, okay? Um, this is a low quality, even the audio. Uh, we're trying to explore some things but you know this is all for you and we want those um, students that are catching up you now we'll try to speak Ilongo uh, English or Tagalog just to uh, make fun sometimes of ourselves okay the, the purpose of this video is for my business uh, tax 42 class so, um, if you can relate to this that um, Type uh, na, type amen, sir. Let's go, sir. Good uh, sa midsummer, sir. Sabo sa midsummer. Juti kan kulang perfect. So shout out lang dat sa mga tag-asa ng scores ng nagtoon git sa tuyo subject. And I do appreciate guys, um, especially when you perform. And I know um, we are doing this to prepare you to become a CPA. Okay, this is not just for midsummer or finals. No, we're not doing some uh, cheating during our class pieces, but we don't cheat for our future, the way we always say about it. And I just want to encourage you that you can do this. Na, I know, uh, mahirap, right? Mahirap yung season natin right now. Even I, even I as a CPA, even in our uh, company, it's so hard to make a uh, profit this time, but you know, uh, I know there's a lot of um, uh, voices inside this uh, social media and we're trying to grasp those information and hopefully uh, we don't get too over, overloaded with this uh, data but we could always uh, process natin to inspire ourselves not just those more positive uh, things but also giving, a, giving us a a window of uh, motivation na uh, maka-graduate yun kita tanan. Okay? So, today we're gonna talk about um, bad payable and other requirements. So, this is part of our discussion on value added tax. And I know, um, maka-relate mga humugapon since continuation malang ni sa ating lecture, no? So, today, module 8 na kita. And there's a lot of module pa kita ngayon discuss this. There's a lot of recording like this. Uh, mga, kung may mga bloopers or if I mispronounce some things, you can hashtag that, no? Or hashtag bloopers or hashtag unnecessary uh, or any corny jokes or, you know, I'm just a trying hard copycat. <laughs> I'm just a trying hard, no? I'm not a YouTuber or I'm not trying to be uh, someone else. I'm just, I just want to practice this time so it's a challenge for me as sure uh, teacher in this uh, subject and kalabag sa intro ko no so sige lang uh, we'll get through this so ako ga practice ko even you as we continue our lecture through this uh, live class okay I, I know sa atin yung zoom class before so super challenge ko na no super so ka disturbo kita per me or kung may ka go out sa link kung wala signal and it's so hard but uh, kaya, na, kumbaga, kaya natin to guys okay Sige. so let's start let's jump in there's a lot of slides here that I will go through but uh, my approach today is uh, kumbaga i-shortcut na to okay kung ano lang essential sa ating boarding sam okay okay let's go Okay, the objective today for this module, the uh, determination of VAT payable, uh, different tax credits against VAT due, okay, rules of advanced VAT, and number four, conditions for the claim of input VAT. So technically, na discuss na natin in our previous uh, module. This is just a review, okay, and just some other uh, added info. Okay, kumbaga, ma-review ma lang siya, okay? Okay, 
uh, in basic principle, we have this um, formula, di ba? Output VAT. Ilas mo yung mga creditable input VAT. And you will get the net VAT payable. And we are talking also the tax credits and payments. So, and we will arrive, of course, if uh, positive siya, so tax still due. Kung negative, meaning overpayment ka na with the BIR. So, this is our uh, basic formula. So, we will determine kung magkano yung VAT payable natin okay? in this module. So, ano ba yung we will focus this time dun sa tax credits and payments. We're done talking about output VAT, regular sales, exempt sales, di ba? Meron uh, zero rated sales. So, this time we're gonna talk about uh, na-discuss na rin yung input VAT. So, ngayon, tax credits and payments. Okay. Ito yung mga example. So, uh, there are five, no? Um, medyo madami siya. But, we will, ano ah, we will shorten our uh, discussion with just getting those kumbaga hindi ka mga data overload kundi makuha mo ang mga basic principles na okay okay VAT payments in monthly returns so i think ano uh, number 1 di ba we will discuss this uh, mga VAT payments natin of course you will credit in your di ba output less input uh, input okay hashtag #bloopers input na Sa sulod mo ko nung foot, amo na siyang in foot. Okay? Diba? Ang basic principle na ito, output VAT again, less in, uh, creditable input VAT, and net VAT payable. Okay? Ang in-discuss natin this afternoon is ang tax credits and payments. So, of course, payments, amo na niya ang mga gimbayad natin sa ito nga uh, previous quarter, since quarterly ang ito nga pag-remit, diba? Diba? May first month, second month, tapos quarterly na reporting, i-less mo ang first two months na naging remit mo sa BIR. Okay. So, yan yung mga tax credits natin. But payments in the monthly returns. This is not applicable for the monthly VAT daw. Of course, kasi you are just, uh, kumbaga nagre-report ka ng for that month lang. So, wala ka namang previous, quarter, previous month dyan na nire reflect right doon ka magre-reflect sa quarterly to 550 na form ng BIR okay hindi siya applicable sa monthly VAT return okay okay meron din tayong sinasabi guys <coughs> na before i continue medyo <coughs> please to understand okay ang bosses ko today medyo uh, madaming off note <laughs> okay may mga high notes and, uh, yeah, hopefully may enjoy nyo ako natin in this afternoon. <laughs> okay. Or if you want, you can mute this discussion and just go over sa mga module. Okay? Okay. Final VAT withholding. Final withholding VAT, rather. The final withholding VAT, yan yung sinasabi natin kanina, di ba? For um, government agencies or GO, CCs. Na remember nyo yung 5%. Okay. Remember that the VAT payable and sales to government and GOCCs is zero. So, kumbaga, wala tayong babayaran dyan. Okay? Because the VAT due, okay, pre-deducted at source. Kumbaga, na-deduct na ni government and withhold na sila. So, sila mag re sa BIR. Yung parang sinasabi nila na, na yun yung final withholding natin na VAT. 5% yun. Okay? This amount is also deducted from VAT payable in computing but still due or overpayment. Ko kasama siya dyan sa final withholding but Okay, to illustrate, okay, ito yung given na data. Okay, hopefully nakabasa na kayo in advance, no, sa, uh, ng, ano natin, ng book. Okay, yung book natin, again, by uh, Bangawan, Business and Transfer Taxation 2019 edition. Ayan. So, si ABC Company daw, uh, had 12,000 okay, input VAT carryover. Meron siyang carryover. Okay. Ito yung given ng problem. Ha? May carryover siya. 12,000 input VAT. Ayan. And si ABC Company, nagbayad siya ng total 28,000 pesos in the first two quarters of the 
uh, two quarters. It also made a voluntary advance payment. So, umbaga, nag-advance na siya ng 20,000 to the BIR in anticipation of its quarterly VAT payable. So, yung, ano niya, yung output VAT shall be computed from the VATable sales as follows. Ano ba yung mga VATable sales dito? Of course, hindi kasama dyan yung exempt goods. Kaya yun lang yung isasama natin. 1,350, 1,300, tsaka yung 250. Okay. Multiply mo lang siya ng 12 except doon sa export sales na sinasabi natin pag export sales. Subject siya sa VAT pero 0% lang. Okay? 0%. So, 0 siya. So, yung total output VAT niya, payable niya, 192. Ngayon, ano yung minus natin dyan? Yan yung mga binayaran niya in the previous quarter o yung sinasabi mga input VAT, carry over, tapos yung mga ito. Sa baba, yun, nakalagay yung solution dyan, input VAT carry over na 12,000 given naman yan sa problem actually. Diba sa example? Diyan naman sa input VAT and sales to private entities. Diba 60,000? Okay. Yan. Ito yan. So 60,000 sa taas. Ito yung input VAT niya. Okay. Yung export sales naman na input VAT, okay, 36,000. Wala siyang output na mabayaran pero yan yung benefit. Meron siyang input na pwedeng i-deduct, no? In standard input VAT on sales to government. Sabi natin, 7% in standard input VAT. Okay? Sa government. So that's 17,500. So total, yung allowable na pwede niyang i-deduct doon sa output VAT niya. Okay? Sabi natin, 192, di ba? Yung output VAT payable niya kay DIR. Yung pwede niyang ma-deduct is yung 125,500. So sa problem, during the exam, so it might be given yan. So ganito siya mag determine. Not necessarily determine mo muna. Is it yung sales ba is subject to 0% or subject sa 12% na regular ba or exempt yung uh, sale na yun. Okay? So ganun lang siya ka simple. Ngayon, meron sa, sa ano natin sa problem. Meron uh, Sige, balik tayo. 125, that's 92, 66, di ba? So, yung may next na ima-minus mo dyan, yung payments. Di ba? Sabi natin, di ba yung mga VAT payments sa previous uh, months. Okay? So, may total yan na 28. Ngayon, meron din siyang advance payments sa BIR. Okay? Na 20,000. Also, yung final withholding VAT na 5%. Okay. So, total 60,500. 60, so, may... Uh, babayaran ka siya na 6,000. So, yung discussion natin, dito lang iikot. Okay? Sa tax credit uh, or payments. So, ito siya. So, number one, di ba? Sabi natin, yung pwede mo ma-deduct sa, sa VAT payable mo is yung final withholding VAT. And yung mga final withholding VAT VAT <coughs> payments in monthly returns. Ayan. Yeah. So, yung dalawang to, pwede mong i-deduct doon sa babayaran mo kay BIR. Ngayon, di ba sabi natin kanina may binayaran siya na advance? Okay, na ba? Okay. The owners of, or sellers of the following goods are required to pay advance but before their withdrawal at the point of production. Ito daw, ABC. Okay? Remember natin to ah, yung ABC na to, refined sugar, flour. Kung ito yung negosyo niya, Required daw sila, okay, to pay in advance yung VAT, okay? Technically, advance VAT is not an input VAT, okay? And not included as part of allowable input VAT, ba Sa taas formula natin, hindi siya part ng allowable, okay, input VAT. Hindi part siya dito, okay? Part siya ng tax credits or payments. Ngayon, it is an advance payment which is deduction, a deduction after the net payable, okay? After mag-determine mo na input less, uh, output less input, so may VAT payable ka dyan, doon may deduct yung in advance na input, okay? However, yung unutilized advance VAT in the period may form part of input VAT carryover if opted by a taxpayer. Example, okay? 
example, yung advance payment ko dito is 20,000. Ginawa kong 30,000. So, lalabas dito, guys, mas malaki yung credits ko din. Di ba? Tama? So, magna-negative ko. Gagawa. Nangyayari siyang overpayment. Okay? So, option daw ng taxpayer kung gagamitin niya yung excess na in-advance niya. Okay? Na advance ba? Doon sa next uh, period. Okay? If opted by taxpayer. Okay. Di ba meron tayong tatlo? Again, advanced bat, refined sugar, meron sa flour, and naturally grown and planted timber products. Okay. Kunin natin yung example sa sugar. Okay. Sugar, syempre, refers to sugar other than raw cane sugar. Okay. Or those with content of sucrose by weight. In the dry state corresponds to a na muna siyang polarimeter. So, 99.5 degrees and above. And whose color? Ayan, yung specific talaga siya, no? Ano ba yung sugar, okay? Na ina-advance. Also, sinasabi, dapat verify daw siya, okay? Verify as such by Sugar Regulatory Administration. Okay? Also, uh, ayan, before any warehouse receipts or cadans are issued or before the sugar is withdrawn from the sugar mill refinery, the advance VAT shall be paid by the owner ayan, to the BIR through an authorized champions banko. Okay? Sugar owners refers to a person who has a legal title over the sugar and may include sugar planters, traders, sugar millers, Co-ops and association. Tapos, ito yung uh, base price of advance VAT. Okay, 1,400 per na uh, 50 kg. Okay, na VAT. So, yan lang guys, tapandaan natin. So, we have this illustration. Siyempre, yung rate, di ba? 1,400 per 50 kg. Shorten na lang natin. Okay, 1,400. So, ilang bags yun? So, isang bag, di ba? Ayan. Total production of 50 kg. So, ilang 50 kg? So, that's 4,000 bags. So, mumultiply mo lang siya sa 1,4. Diba? Times mo sa 12%. Ito yung uh, the advances uh, input back to be paid up prior to the withdrawal of the sugar from refinery. So, yan yung i-advance na input back. Okay? Yan yung ina-allow ng uh, BIR natin. Okay? Also, ito, another example, di ba? In continuation dito. Assuming daw, was able si sugar ko ng 3,800 bags at 1,8, okay? Bag during the month. So, ito lang siya, di ba? 3,8, okay? Times 1,8. So, ito yung sales niya. Presumptive input bag, since ano siya? Sugar, di ba? Times mo sa standard nila, di ba? 4%. Okay? 4%. Multiply mo dun sa purchases. So, that's 2,000. Ah, uh, 2 million. Okay? Times 4%. Standard natin yan. Pinag-aralan natin before yung rate na to na 4%. Okay? 80,000. Regular input bat. Okay? Regular input bat. Uh, related doon, no? Given naman yun sa problem, no? Yung advanced input bat, yung unique dito. Okay? Inaalaw ni BIR na pwede ka mag-minus sa babayaran mo. Ito, maximum lang, no? 1,400, 1,400 pesos times mo sa ilang bags, di ba? So, dun yung nanggaling, yung 672. So, pwede mo siyang i-minus, tawag dyan, advanced input bag. So, pwede siya. Ito lang, tatandaan natin, no? Remember that the owner of uh, refined sugar can also claim a presumptive input VAT. The tax credit for the advanced input VAT must be supported by a payment order showing the payment of the uh, advanced VAT. So, ito yung mga requirement, guys. Ha? Pag wala dyan yung isa, hindi ka pwedeng mag-avail okay, ng advanced input VAT. Okay? Kung wala ito, okay, walang pay payment order. Kasi sabi, must be. Di ba? Hindi naman sinasabing Uh, optional. So, required talaga siya. In case of over overpayment, the same may be. Ayan. Hindi siya must be, 
pwede lang siya maybe carry over. Kasi nga, sabi natin, option ni taxpayer kung ano ba, pagamitin ko ba sa next period or uh, ngayon na lang. Okay? Or uh, donation ko na lang yan. Kasi yan, yeah, madami namang pera. No? So, maybe carry over. Okay? So, mga true or false yan, lalabas, di ba? Malabas siya sa isa. So, pag yung word na may, ginawa kong must, so false na yung statement. Okay. Illustration number two. Simple lang. Ito naman, co-ops. Sabi, yung co-ops natin are exempt from VAT. So, wala ka nang kukumpitin dyan. It is not subject to the requirement of advanced VAT. Kasi nga, exempt from VAT yung cooperatives natin. Okay? Yan lang tatandaan natin. Okay? Number two, flower by millers. Okay? Flower, remember ha, sale of flower by millers. So, flower miller is a person who is engaged and it's mainly imported of, uh, of imported wheat to produce flour as a finished product. Yung wheat trader naman is a person who is engaged importing naman ng buying and selling of imported wheat. Sabi natin, di ba, importation. Ayan. Importation of wheat by a um, flour miller, the advance back and future sale of flour okay, from imported wheat shall be paid prior to the release. Yan. Highlight natin. Which is imported and declared for milling. So, dapat daw, prior to the release from the customs, dapat bayaran muna ng, ano sabi? Flour miller. Yan. Iba rin yung wheat trader. Okay? What will happen naman kung yung flour is uh, from uh, traders? Ayan. The purchase of imported wheat from traders by flour millers shall also be subject. Ayan, subjected naman siya, same din yung treatment, and shall be paid okay, prior to the delivery. Ayan. The importation of wheat by any trader shall be exempt from the payment of advance back. So, exempted siya regardless of its uh, intended use. So, trader kasi siya, hindi naman siya yung nag-produce. Okay? Unless ikaw yung nag, or nag-mill talaga, at yung mean ikaw nag-mill or miller, hindi ka naman yung producer. Okay? Hindi ka daw regardless. Okay? Regardless, exempt from the uh, payment. So, hindi, hindi ka, kumbaga, hindi ka makaka-avail ng same doon sa mga um, purchase of wheat by flour millers from traders. So, yan. So, in na natin yung kailangan natin tandaan. Okay? It must be noted that the importation of wheat is not subject, is not the object of na. So, hindi siya yung object of taxation. Ano ba yung tinatax nun? Okay? Yung wheat, di ba? Hindi yung importation. Yung importation kasi iba, iba siya dun sa um, subject okay? or object. The importation of wheat, which is an agricultural yeah, product in original state is exempt from but kasi nga original state siya okay there's no complicated uh, process na nangyari the purpose of the advance but yan to pala yung purpose eh no highlight natin the purpose of the advance but is to get an advance tax collection from the but in the future yan Gusto lang nila mag-advance collection. Okay? On the future. By millers. Okay? The importation of agricultural or marine food products. Normally, ayan. So, remember this word. Normally. Does not require an authority to release imported or, or a trick from the BIR for its release. Okay? In view of the advanced VAT. In the case, kumbaga, in the case of advanced VAT. However, importers of wheat, whether miller or trader, yan, requirement talaga siya, shall secure an atrig from, saan kukunin? Sa BIR. So, regardless of the intended use of wheat. Okay? Next, basis of um, the advanced tax. Saan siya binibase? 
Okay? Ito yung tatandaan natin. There's uh, a different different percentage for each type of uh, um, tawag dito, person or taxpayer. Ito number one, for wheat imported by millers, 75% of the sum of ayan. Ito yung basis tatlo, okay? Invoice value, estimated cost and duties, mga other charges, 5% of the sum of 5% of the sum of A and B. So, 5% ng sum nito ng A and B. So, paano mag-compute? Okay, in short, advanced bat is computed. Okay, 12% regular bat yan, di ba? Nari, times 75, sabi natin, 75%. Times 105. Okay, saan yung 105? Just to get the 5%, di ba? 5% times, okay, para kumbaga, green nose up mo. Gets nyo? Green nose up mo, kaya naging 105 siya. Times 105%. Times, okay, yung total ng A and B. Okay. Sige, to illustrate. Yan, di ba? May given na sa problem natin. Okay, yung solution niya shall be computed. Sabi natin, invoice price and invoice value. Okay, plus mo yung mga custom charges. Okay, inag yung 300. Tapos first, sa formula natin, okay, uh, discard mo lang din yun, di ba? Kung unahin mo 105 or times mo sa 75. Okay? Yung base natin, sabi 75%, di ba? Nung total. Multiply by 12%. Kaya. So, saan sir yung ano, A and B? Ito na yun. Di ba? Yan yung pinaka-base na uh, kumbaga na amount. Okay. So, yung babayaran, o kumbaga yung advance bat natin, ito yung 439. Okay? Times 12%. Yan yung advance input bat. Okay? Advance input bat. 439. Yan yung pwede mong i-deduct doon sa bat payable mo. Okay? So, kanina, pwede okay, lang lang natin. Ano ba yun? For wheat, or, uh, for wheat imported by millers. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Yan, millers. Pangalawa naman for uh, wheat purchased by flour millers from wheat traders. Same rin yung uh, percentage, uh, 75. Yung voice value. Yung unique yung dito, I think yung letter B. Kasi estimated free. Estimated. Diba? Estimated. Kasi yung sa taas, sa taas, estimated custom duties and other charges. So, ito naman, freight naman yun sa baba. Yan. To illustrate, same process, no? Yung nagkaiba lang dito, estimated freight. Okay? Same concept lang siya dun sa first na uh, example natin. Okay? Mabilis lang, di ba? Okay. The payment order. Yan. Payment order daw, together with the Deposit slip issued by, siyempre kung proof na nag-deposit ka doon sa, ano mo, sa banko, or the ROI issued by revenue collection officer, officer shall serve as a proof. Ayan. Ito yung proof, payment order and deposit slip para mag-claim ka ng uh, input back. Okay? Advance back on transport of naturally grown and um, this is planted, right? planted timber products okay timber products then the value of the transport of natural grown timber products for purposes of consummating a sale shall be paid so same then paid in advance that part, okay by the owner seller to the bir okay same with that shall be paid in advance okay same treatment Ayan. so kailangan natin i think um during the CP board, wala namang nakalagay dito na Luzon, besides Mindanao, no? It's just to show you, okay? Sir, kailangan mong sauloyin to. Um, technically, uh, kung malaki yung ano mo, memory bank mo, sauloyin mo to. Pero it's just a matter of ano, familiarize yourself, no? One, four, per... Uh, ayan, one, five, one, two, okay? Different measurement, so... Just go over with it. Hindi mo naman kailangan uh, 
Nasa ulo yun talaga. Okay? Ayan. The owner, just to ano lang, elaborate yung timber natin. Ayan. The owner, concessioner, seller of natural grown timber uh, shall not allow any transport of said timber products from cutting area without the advance. Ayan. Dapat hindi daw. Shall not allow in transport. Okay? Dapat daw hindi i-allow. Okay? Any transport of said uh, timber products from the cutting area without the advance payment. Dapat daw, the advance pay, bayaran mo na in advance yung bat natin. Okay? Illustration. Ayan. Illustration tayo. So, based doon, no? 1.7 times, magkano ba yung ano? Yung rate natin sa aming lugar. Okay? Ayan. Sa Luzon, so, sabi natin 1.4, di ba? Ayan. 1.4. So, times 12%, ito yung total. Okay? 12%. So, the advance but shall be creditable. In advance, bayad mo na eh. So, pwede mo yung minus siya doon sa output but na payable mo. Okay? Yan lang yun. Okay. Ano yun naman yung uh, advanced percentage tax? Ito naman yung mga case na non-bat siya. Diba? So, subject siya doon sa advanced percentage tax. Okay? Assuming, hindi siya but registered. He shall not be subject to the advance. Ayan. So, hindi siya subject sa advance. Siyempre, wala ka namang 12% na ikukumpitan o babayaran PBIR. So, there's no need to pay. But shall pay, ayan. Ito naman siya. 3% yun sa kanya. Advanced percentage tax. Hindi yung uh, 12% na input. Okay? For the, ano lang yun, mga batabog. Taxpayers. Okay? The advanced percentage tax is creditable against the monthly or quarterly percentage tax. Okay? The certificate of advance payment cap shall be released by the BIR upon payment of the advance tax. Okay. So, dapat si BIR yung mag-release na ano tawag doon? Cap or certificate of advance payment. This shall serve as proof for the tax credit of advance back against the output back or percentage tax of the timber. Yeah. Tax still due. Ano yung tax uh, still due? The resultant tax still payable the back return is paid to the government as follows. Follows. Okay? First month, second month, and third month on the quarter siya. Within 20 days, siyempre, kailangan mo i-memorize nito yung first month of the quarter within 20 days. Yung kinaiba lang dito, nagiging 25 siya. Yung deadline mo within that 25 days. Kasi nga, kung consolidate mo pa yung first, second month, diba? at saka yung third. So, quarter D. Yun lang yun. So, 20, 20, and 25. Okay. What if daw may overpayment tayo? The resultant overpayment or negative net amount yeah, may be treated as input but uh, carry over. Kasi sabi, maybe. Di ba? Kasi may option si taxpayer kung hindi niya gagamitin sa next na uh, period. So, alternative treatment of certain overpayment. So, mayroon tayong alternative arising from input but and zero rated sales. Ayan. Zero yung output mo, pero may, meron kang uh, input back na pwede maklaim. Okay? Overpayments arising from advanced input. But nag-advance ka ng in-expect mo, mas malaki yung uh, input back mo next. Diba? Yung what mo. Nag-assume ka na mas malaki. So there's a overpayment. Okay? An overpayment sa bat natin. Okay. Let's elaborate this further yung 1 and 2. Okay, number 1, input VAT on zero rated sales. Input VAT on zero rated sales. Pwede mo daw siya gamitin as a tax refund or pwede mo rin siyang gamitin as a tax credit. Okay, tax refund, dalawa lang, no? Tax refund or tax credit. Pag zero rated sales na input VAT siya. And of course, um, self-explanatory naman saan mo pwedeng 
saan at kailan mo pwedeng maklaim yung battery fund or uh, TCC. Okay? Uh, BIR, Board of Investment, one-stop one shop, and duty drawback center of the DOF. Okay? Prescriptive. Okay? Prescriptive. Kumbaga nag-prescribe. Kumbaga nag-expire. Okay? Mag-expire siya. Ayan. The two-year. Tandaan natin, two years, ha? Yung prescriptive period for the claim of tax refund. And from the close of taxable quarter, when the zero-rated sales were made, not from the date of payment. Not from the date. Ayan. So, yun lang kailangan tandaan, guys. Okay? Prescriptive, two years, pero not on the date of payment, but on the date of zero-rated sales. Kung kailangan nag, nag kumbaga nag tumanggap ng zero-rated sales, okay? Or na-incur. No other remedy for unutilized uh, input back on zero-rated sales. Wala na daw kasi sabi ni BIR, before, allow daw yung outright expensing of the unutilized. Pwede mo daw may expense when the prescriptive period lapse. Okay? Under the ruling, kasi nga, sinapawan siya ng ruling 1, 2, 3, 2013, the BIR withdraw, okay? The expense treatment for lack of, wala daw siya legal basis. Okay? Wala siyang legal basis. So, the unutilized creditable input back attributable to zero-rated sales can only be recovered through the application for, ayan, for a fund or tax credit. So, hindi na pwede yung, ano tawag doon? Outright expensing. So, hindi na siya allowed me BIR. Okay. Perfect matching. Yeah. So minsan, di ba, pag hindi na allowed, yan, atrasabante, okay? Pag binagi yung batas, <laughs> kinchu, okay? Laban bawi lang, ano? Minsan, depende rin sa, ay, wish ako ng ganito. Tapos babagi yun. Minsan, ganun din sa, ano? Tapos, minsan darating yung, yung time na mayroong perfect match. Ayan. Hashtag perfect match. So, shout out sa mga nakakita ng perfect match dyan. Sa tax natin, meron din perfect matching, di ba? Minamatch dyan yung input VAT with zero-rated sales. Pero, hindi daw required. <laughs> perfect match kayo, pero hindi naman kayo required na kailang, kailang i-match. So, okay, the input VAT is uh, reported in past quarters which are attributable to zero-rated report sales reported in, in subsequent quarters are still claimable. Yan. Highlight natin. Are still claimable as tax credit or tax refund. Input VAT claim for the fund. Yan. Shall no longer be creditable. Yan. And must be removed from the total creditable input VAT. Okay? Input VAT reported in past quarters are attributable, okay, which are attributable to zero rated, still claimable, doon lang sa quarter, di ba? Past quarter, tapos sabi, input VAT claim for refund, okay? Kasi, na-claim mo na siya for refund, eh, okay? Or tax credit. Hindi mo na siya pwede ng liti, di ba? Sabi yung BIR, ano yun? Uh, ano ako? No to, <laughs> di ba? Na minus mo na. I was gagamitin mo pa kasi na-refund mo na eh, na-request mo na yung tax credit mo pa kasi ma-minus mo pa yun. So, hindi natin siya pwede. Okay? Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng TCC? Tax Credit Certificate. So, yung tatandaan lang natin dito, yung unutilized and vast. Advanced, but, which is na-discuss na natin before, na option nga. Ayan, highlight natin. Option ng owner, kung gagamitin niya. Okay? Requisite, ito lang yung tatandaan natin. Okay, number one, the seller, owner, must file a claim for a credit. Ayan, two years. So, yung prescriptive, di ba? Hindi mo na siya magagamit kung uh, nag-lapse na yung two years. And also, claim shall be limited to the unutilized. Yung mga unutilized lang. Hindi na yung buo. Siyempre, nagamit mo na yun as deduction. Okay. When input VAT may be claimed for 
refund. There are two cases daw, okay? Unutilized, inulit lang ano? Unutilized input but with zero rated sales and upon cancellation but registration due to retirement from or cessation of business. Ano ba yung kinaiba ng dalawang uh, case na to? Let's get this uh, no, uh, example natin. Registration. Ayan, monthly application. Pasadaan lang natin. Okay? Genesis company daw ito. Sales and purchases. But persons and non but Okay? Total. Ayan. 6 and 3.7. So, yung but payable niya shall be computed as follow. Ayan. Output. Okay? Plus mas input. So, may but payable siya. So, paano siya yung apply So, sabi ni Big ni ng regulations natin, ina-apply lang siya, syempre, month by month, okay, na application. Kung anong month siya, okay, during the month, yan lang yung i-apply mo, di ba? 300,000 yung input. Okay, 2.5, ayan, input sa what person. Sir, paano yung non but Okay? Yung sales mo, okay, ako, VAT taxpayer ako, lahat ng sales mo, subject to VAT siya, di ba? So, kung binilhan ko, wala naman siyang pinatong na, na, na output bat sa akin. So, wala naman akong ikiklaim doon. So, ito lang yung bat persons. Yan lang yung uh, may input bat ako. Okay? Not bad. Yung quarterly naman applications. Okay. Quarterly applications. Ayan. So, yung unique lang dyan. No? Kung may uh, payable, tsaka may ano siya, overpayment. Okay? So, ito na yung concept niya. Okay? July, August, and September. Okay? Input but carryover in the second month is not credited in the third month. Bakit siya hindi kinikredit ito yung third, sa third month? Kasi nga, kinoconsolidate natin yung total output. Okay? Yung September na yan, total ng tatlong month yan. July, August, September. Okay? Gumaga na sama na yan dito. Okay? Last input. So, yung payable na, 20. Tapos, yung prior month na payment na is 10K. Kasi, nung August, wala siyang binayaran. Kasi, negative, di ba? Overpayment. Okay. So, kumbaga, when we study, um, example na, tapos mo na yung basa, balikan mo yung mga note or balikan mo yung mga ganito, input ba? Or balikan mo yung mga explanation din sa mga problems natin. Okay? Ayan. Kung mixed transactions naman siya, well, madali lang naman yun. Eh, diba? Mixed transaction. Ayan. Kasi yung medical practitioner si Mr. Munda, may dalawa yung ano niya, source of uh, income. Yung practice ng profession niya and meron din siyang uh, jeepney. Okay? Receipt from transport passengers are specifically subject to percentage tax. Okay? So, exempt siya sa VAT. So, kailangan mo lang i-balikan mo yung mga cases natin. Ano mga example doon na uh, exempt siya sa uh, VAT? Okay? The input VAT traceable there too is part of cost. Yeah. Part na siya doon sa cost and expenses. Although VAT siya, okay, yung jeepney kasi, or yung transport ng passengers na yan. Subject sa specific na percentage tax. Hindi siya subject sa VAT. What about yung non-traceable? Okay? Hindi siya matrace. Yung sa task kasi traceable siya. Di? Pwede siya matrace yung mixed transaction. So, kapag hindi siya matrace, okay, punta tayo dito direct sa sa, ano, sa notes. The 42,000 input but down with sales of goods is apparently traceable. Ayan. Kung traceable siya, then pwede mong kumbita ng 12% but. Okay? Should not be amortized because the acquisition cost is below 1N. Below 1N daw, should not be amortized. Hindi mo kailangan i-amortize. Nanda yung 1N. Okay? Ayan. Kasi nga, ayan. Okay, purchases of goods for sales, uh, 42,000 related to this. Purchase of store equipment, 60,000. Total input, but na kasi yan, di ba? Yeah. So, yung equipment, 
1 m daw pag greenhouse up mo din divide mo yan sa uh, 12% o oh, kung mo yung gross di ba the input vat ayan the acquisition cost is 60,000 in divide mo siya ng 12% ayan kuha mo 500,000 greenhouse up mo so sabi ni BIR below 1 m yan so hindi mo kailangan should not be amortized ayan the store equipment is, is conceivably for general general hindi man specific sa sa problem na kalagay diba benefiting both exempt and trader ngayon therefore allocated siya okay dapat allocated the portion okay paano ina allocate the portion of input but traceable to exempt share, sales is moved from creditable input but kumbaga may ratio and proportion siya okay goods for sale and store equipment Okay, total input is 102, di ba? Okay, minus ang mayroon ng input but ang exempt sales. Okay, 400 over mo lang sa 1.5 million. Kasi yan yung ratio ng uh, unprocessed. Kung baga, yan yung hindi subject sa kung baga, tax natin, di ba? Sa value added tax, sa bank. Okay, ratio then times mo sa 60,000. Okay, saan nang galing yung 60? Ito, store equipment. Okay? Yan yung 16,000. Yan yung ili-less mo dito sa 102. Sabi natin, yan yung total input back. Okay? Yan lang yun siya. Okay, less input. So, yung uh, proper input mo talaga is 86,000. Okay? Integrated illustration. Well, ito madali lang din. Okay? Na scenario. Ava taxpayer using a cash basis presented the following data. Yeah, build inclusive, inclusive. Ito lang yung mga tricky, di ba? Sa problem, papatagal. In exclusive, kailangan multiply. Inclusive, kailangan divide to uh, go to go dun sa uh, base amount natin. Okay? Salary expense, depreciation, supplies expense, and inclusive of that. So, at the during the month an equipment with eight year okay uh, estimated useful life was purchased the input battery related on is 144,000 was paid on the purchase so the gross receipt and output what shall be completed uh, syempre yung professional fees client advances and gross receipt diba? total na yun yung meaning ng ano So, mga cash basis natin yun yung uh, gross receipt, di ba? Yung uh, nakulet, tsaka yung mga in advance. Hindi pa siya revenue, pero in advance na siya nabayad. So, part na siya ng gross receipt, di ba? 108. So, ano yung creditable input back natin dito? So, madali lang, no? Yung sa equipment, i-divide mo siya sa 60 months. Equivalent to 5 years, di ba? 60 months. Okay. Ayan. 144,000. Ayan. Yung input VAT. Okay. Input VAT on, on supplies. Ayan. Bakit uh, 60 months? Yan yung nakalagay sa ano eh. Sa ano natin. Sa regulation. Equipment is amortized over not more than 60 months. Di ba? Ayan. Although 80 years ang estimated useful life niya, hindi naman niya yung pinakalo, di ba? So, 60 months. The input value and equipment is amortized because it, it, is, it is more than 1 million. Okay? Dinivide mo sa 144, divide mo 0.12 or 12%. So, yung labas mo, more than 1 million. So, sabi ng DIR, divide mo na 60 months or 5 years. Okay, or else, hindi mo siya kailangan i-amortize. Okay, there is no claimable input back in expense items that do not represent payments. So, since cash basis, di ba, cash basis yung ano natin, yung taxpayer, okay, the input back and depreciation is claimed on the purchase of the asset. On the purchase, kung kailan, kung kailan mo siya binili, okay, that's the time para mo i-claim. Okay? Yung VAT payable niya, ito lang, 6,000 yung input na pwedeng i-minus doon. Okay? Net VAT payable, 1 or 2. So, ganun lang yung mga tatandaan natin dito. Yung mga 
uh, part nito. Okay, sa notes. Okay. Well, yung compliance uh, requirements, guys, uh, super dali nito. Okay? It's just a matter of uh, um, reading through these uh, requirements natin kasi it's, kumbaga, uh, tulad natin, invoicing requirement, accounting requirement, a filing of bad return, filing of quarterly summaries, and government withholding. Okay, pasadaan lang natin, okay? Mga highlights lang. VAT invoicing, of course, sabi ni BIR, dapat merong VAT invoice. Dapat ito mag-issue pa ng invoice, okay? Pag VAT registered ka, then VAT visual receipt. Ayan. Using a single invoice or receipt of mixed sales. If VAT registered tax payer may use Yan, single or receipt involving VAT in and VAT transaction. Pwede din gumamit ng isang invoice lang yung taxpayer provided given yung dalawa. Okay? Yan. Just go over with it. Okay? The invoice must clearly yan, indicate breakdown of sales. Tapat daw naka-indicate siya. The calculation of VAT on each portion of the sale shall be shown. Yan, dapat yung portion. Kasi merong Di ba may mga items tayo? Example ako, retailer. Tapos nagbibenta ako ng rice, nagbibenta ako ng mga taxable goods. Tapos yung rice, di ba? Original form pa siya. So dapat yung rice, wala doon yung VAT. So doon lang ako nagko-compute sa mga may VAT. So dapat pwede daw gumamit ng single invoice basta naka-state lang doon. Okay? Use a separate invoice. Ito naman ang opposite. Uh, kung wala kang single invoice, meron kang uh, multiple, di ba? Or separate invoice for each transaction. Kung utang, may separate ka ng invoice. Kung uh, nag-render ka ng service, iba din. Okay? Nag-collect ka ng, ng, kumbaga, ng payments, may, may OR ka rin doon na separate. Okay? Dapat lang doon, tatandaan natin dito. Dapat nakalagay. Kung VAT exempt sale siya, dapat nakalagay tayo. Okay? na VAT exempt, doon sa face ng receiver mo, okay? Kung zero rated naman siya, yan, dapat nakalagay talaga, separate, Maga, separate uh, invoice number one, VAT exempt sale, dapat nakalagay doon. Kung, kung nagbibenda ka ng mga zero rated sale, dapat nakalagay doon. It must be noted that these requirements are very, 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 very important. In substantiating, ayun, pag nag-audit si BIR sa company nyo in the future, kung mga CPA na kayo, no? Hopefully. So, dapat daw uh, kompleto lahat ng resibo. Okay? Dapat correct din yung computation ng but or else, ano yung consequence? Consequences niya, no? Ano yung magiging penalty natin sa BIR? And in substantiating the claim for the fund, yan. Siyempre, i-avoid nila as if wala kang expense. As if hindi yan valid na expense or Example kung sales naman siya, as if hindi yan valid na sales or overstated yung sales mo. So, there's a lot of corresponding penalties okay, pag may meron tayo yung mga violation. Okay? Very quick lang. Of course, invoicing requirements. Ayan. So, one and two. Dapat inulit lang. Ano? So, inulit lang. So, dapat daw lahat. Ayan. Let's remember this, guys. 100 pesos. Okay? Ano yung 100 pesos na yun? All persons subject to internal revenue tax shall issue ayan, duplicate or value that 100 pesos or more. Kung kung isang nagbenta ka ng ice candy, okay, di ba, below 100 pesos siya, um, hindi ka required to issue uh, resibo okay, or invoice, fat invoice. Kung 100 pesos or more daw, yan, record yan. Ano ba yung sinusulat? So, ito, 12. If VAT registered amount exceeds 1,000. Kung, kung ano siya, kung mga binibenta mo, nung sasobra ka ng 1,000, dapat nakalagay yung team of buyer. Okay? Susulat mo yung team. Kung below that, okay, ano need na. Okay? So may 13 and 14 din siya. Okay? Just go over kung anong nakalagay dito. Tsaka yung provided, ah, study this. Okay. Accounting requirement, ayan. Regular accounting records, of course. Mga sales journal, purchases uh, journal natin. 
subsidiary records ay yan. Kela yan. So yung VAT return natin, yung mga required of course inulit natin, no? Exceeds ulit-ulit. Exceeds 3 million. So required ka na to pay that. Okay, where to file? Okay, mag-file ka daw doon sa ano, sa bro. Kung file ka daw doon sa ano, sa munisipyo. Okay, saan ka mag-file? Of course, doon sa uh, authorized agent bank, okay, revenue collection officer, and uh, authorized treasurer of municipality, yeah, city. So, doon ka pwede mag-bayad uh, ng VAT. Okay? Deadline of filing. Yeah. 20 days. Okay? Nulit lang, no? 20 days. From the end of the month. So, yung mga EFPS, yun yung electronic filing and payment system. So, may groupings tayo, group A, B, C, yan, detailed industry. If you have time, um, kita nyo, no? Iba-iba yung ano niya, pero yung standard natin, 20 and 25. So, by grouping, yan. Ginagroup siya, syempre, para hindi naman uh, mag-crowd yung BIR system natin. Okay, halos... Actually, halos tapos na tayo sa ating uh, topic for today. Okay, just mga salient ano na, uh, features ng ating uh, chapter. Okay? Hey guys, you can eat your dinner ha, while uh, listening to this uh, live uh, discussion. Okay? Or you can watch this later, no? Kay masave man niya actually sa ating YouTube uh, account. So, 25 days kung quarter D. Again, inulit lang. Ano yung mga summary list na required? Ito, tatlo. Sales, okay? List of sales, local purchases, and um, list of importation. May tinatawag tayo regular buyer or customer. Ayan. Engaged business, okay? At least, tanda natin, six transactions in previous year. So, ma pag Six times ka nag 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 transact with the hotel, with the uh, restaurant, no? Six times or at least, ba? Six times and up, so magiging regular buyer ka na customer. And yung casual buyer naman, okay? Engage business with individual purchase of hundred thousand or more, yeah. But did not qualify as a regular buyer. One time lang siya, bumili pero yung yung amount is 100,000 o more. Yeah. So, tawag sa kanya, casual buyer. So, yung deadline is 25 or 25th day of the month. Yan yung deadline ng summer release of sales or purchases. Okay? Ito yung sabi ko kanina, diba? Penalties. Tandaan natin. Meron tayong babayaran na unbeen penalty na 1,000. Unless daw, kung such was due to reasonable cause. Example, due to COVID or due to mga unforeseen events. Yeah. The aggregate amount to be imposed for such fa failures during the taxable year shall not exceed 25,000. Based naman yan sa tax code natin. Okay? What if naman daw, uh, palpak yung... Accountant, no? Will full pay, failure by the taxpayer to keep any record. Yan. Wala siyang record. Wala siyang resibo. So, shall be subject to criminal penalty. Aday. Sakit. Sakit besh. No? A willful failure. Kumbaga, there is a will. There is a, kumbaga, sinadya mo no? to in, uh, evade our BIR. Ayan. Subject yan sa criminal penalty. The imposition of penalties under the tax code and compromise and shall not relieve okay? Shall not relieve the violating taxpayer from the obligation to submit okay? Yes na penaltyhan ka na. So in, hindi yan nagre-relieve sa'yo. na save ka na. So required ka pa rin. Okay? Obligado ka rin to submit required documents. Pero din tayo BIR relief uh, system. I think this is uh, second to the last, yeah, the slides. Okay. The taxpayer quarterly sales and purchases are submitted to the BIR's website. So, meron tayong mga uh, 
uh, nagiging high tech na din fight natin so through online yung ano so meaning ng relief reconciliation of listing for enforcement yeah third party program siya information program yan. voluntary assessment program of the BIR cross reference kung mga si ako nagbenta kung mga nagre-report ako ng sales nagre-report ko to si customer A So, si customer A, dapat magre-report din siya sa BIR kung ano yung binili niya sa akin. So, kumbaga mag-cross-reference siya. Pag may nag-cross-reference yung BIR, tapos may, may ay, iba yung report niya, 1 million sa'yo, 100,000 lang. So, ma, kumbaga makita agad ng BIR na may understatement doon. So, ito yung purpose niya ng BIR relief system. So, just... Uh, go through this, no? Yung, ano, yung, ano yung mga penalties natin? Ayan. Suspension of business operations and temporary closure. Ito yung ayaw natin mangyari, no? Bilang isang CPA, bilang isang keeper, accountant. Ito yung ayaw natin yung client natin o yung company natin mismo kung saan tayo yung trabaho is magiging uh, failure dito. So, ito yung kailangan natin iwasan. Ayan. Cancellation. Sakit, no? kakansel ng VAT registration mo. Eh? And liability of non-VAT person who issues. Kaya non-VAT ka, tapos nag-issue ka ng VAT. Di ba? Bogus. So, yan yun. Yan. 50% surcharge. Ang dami. So, kailangan natin iwasan ito, guys. Ha? Uh, bawal mag, uh, kumbaga, mga kompromiso. Kung ano yung rules ni BIR. Sundin natin. This is, kumbaga, yung taxi ba? Lifeblood ng government natin. Okay? I think that's it. I'm done discussing this module 8 and hopefully may, na, uh, may nakuha kita. Okay? So, salamat kid sa pagpamati. Okay? Sa inyo ka patience. Uh, wala man kita ka face-to-face na discussion. Hopefully, in this simple video na discuss na ito na ito yung module 8. Okay? Again, I'm just your kuya. Okay? Kuya LV. I'm, kumbaga, I'm just here to Uh, explain something, no? Kung may ma-add ako nga na information, and our book is really mga sufficient, no? Sometimes, uh, sa three subjects nyo this summer, we just, uh, uh, kung baga mag-spare dito mo some time to read in advance sa ating lecture, and para mas maintindihan natin natin na discussion during this live session sa YouTube. Okay? So guys, hopefully, um, Dama kita learnings for this module 8 and postpone lang kita na sa ating quiz tomorrow. No? At least makabawi. Baka mo sa tingbonta na lang. Okay? The, the following day. So, same ano pa rin. Uh, kumbaga one module. Okay? One quiz for each module. Okay? So, hindi ka mag- makibot pero may nga daw. Ay, wala mga quiz naman si sir. Of course, di ba? Summer, ano Summer class natin very uh, kumbaga na-compress na itong time. So, We need to maximize it. Okay, guys? So, that's it. See you in my next uh, video. Okay? Bye-bye.